Hey y'all, what is up YouTube, YouTube, Sparky Marky Mark here and I'm back to do a review and unboxing. But before that, what is this unboxing? And from the title that you're reading, sure, or the view of this video, you might know or might not know what it is. Hmm? But all in all, ladies and germs, um, we're going to take a look at the city of Kobe. K-O-B-E. Mm -hmm. This is a new city, Kobe City. Mm-hmm. If you already know its history, tell me what you know. But tell me if you ever visited there before. Did you ever went there in recent years? Did you took a vacation there when you were a kid or went with friends? Whichever. And um, like, tell me how it tell me how it was this trip. But be honest, I've never been to this city. I've never went to Japan. I want to go so badly. But now, I mean, you can see how beautiful it is, known as the seventh largest city in Japan. And after Koisaiki, the third being Yoka Yokohama. And the capital of Hayoko Prefecture. So, yeah. Looking at this very, very carefully. Even its history, going back many, many centuries. Mm-hmm. Degree. Huh, temperatures in degrees. Ooh-wee, man. I can bet you in the sun, in the daytime is warm, and then the evening hours is... What? Cool? Hmm? You got the economies, you got to go back as nearly as hundreds of years ago. Huh, wow, wow, transportations, access to bridge, sports, relations of international, national, international relations, Kobe Port Tower, Harbor Land, a lot of other things. Look at that carefully, everyone. Pause that for a moment. Educations in Kobe, you got, whoo, look at that, y'all. 120, 169 elementary schools and 81 middle schools. Hmm, 280,200 80, approximately enrollment. And then you got the 36 students, 36,000 students. Wow, wow, wow. But, hmm. oh yeah, there's a high school right here, everyone. Mm-hmm. Kobe also directly controls six of the city's 25 full public high schools, including Fuki, Fukiai High School. Hmm, I wonder what's this Fukia High School. We got Roku Island High School. Oh, wow. Look at that. And 2006 was 43,400. Wow. How crazy can this get? 17 Japanese language schools, international students, including international training group, Lexis, Japan. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Look at that. This part of the city is insane. And here's a photo of the... Uni Kobe University main building. That's what it looks like, folks. Hmm. But I want to make things clear. I never went to um to Kobe City or never went to Japan. I've seen pictures and traveling videos, documentaries. Heck, I mean, wouldn't it be awesome if they, I mean, if they ever put a slasher villain, like say Michael Myers or Jason. Which I highly doubt they could do that because, again, distribution rights, different studios, and other things. Ack. I mean, I think it would be a good idea. Take them out of the USA. Let them do some damage in a foreign land. Uh, but let's get back to this. It's taking time to load. Hmm. Hold on a second. So now that we're now we're looking at this place called Kobe Fukaya. High school. So it turns out it's been founded since 19, 8, 1939, about 83 years ago. 
and that's since then hmm wow has it been that long so yeah 83 years ago wow wow has it been that long and originally the name was called Kobe Municipal First Middle School. That was the original name, formerly known as Fukai Ward, now Chu Ward, city of Kobe. Man, couldn't they just stick with one name? Heck, couldn't they even stick with one idea of a name and that said? So 83 years ago it was made and then was a middle, it used to be a middle school and then in a former system of education and established later to its predecessor to as its predecessor and then in 1943 80 years ago 1943 to be exact yeah somewhere 80 years ago due to world war ii the suspended school turns out the suspended school uh well Educate it suspended all of its um activities, educational activities from the, the summer of 1944, which is July, and and of course, the entire school building was burned to the ground on June 5th, 1945, and due to the explosions and the bombings of Kobe. The school resumed operation on September 1st that year at a different site. After a series of modifications, the school was established as Kobe Municipal Fukuya High School in 1951. Moving back to its original site location of the Municipal First Middle School. And then in 1986, 36 years later if I'm not mistaken, the English correct concurrent course were eradicated later to later become to become the international course of s starting 19 I mean in 2001 and in 03 20 19 years ago Fukuya high school established a sister Sister school relationship. Huh. Can't even read the rest, but it's in sweet. But it's in Sweden. And in 2005, what it was selected, Fukuya High School was selected as one of the one of the super English language high school, Shall High, by the Ministry of Culture, Sports, and Science and Technology. And of course, it was, of course, associated high school with the UNESCO. Hmm. And the list goes on over the course from in and then Taiwan had another re second relationships, sister school relationship, and then a third one. Even, even in 09, this was happening. And, and then huh, right here in the USA, wow, 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 Washington, USA. I mean, 11 years ago, the school went under major reconstructions and remodeling process as a measure for dis dissipate buildings and earthquake resistance, meaning you have to be resistant for earthquakes and stuff. And then 2014 was selected the in inaugural super global high school sg sgh ministry huh that's what you heard before earning the highest ranking evaluation as a public high school of all sghs in japan history wow 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 hmm. very amazing indeed hmm. oh, wow the stanford program on international and cross-culture education in 2021 wow stands for spice so yeah wow 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 well y'all with all that information out of the way now let's take a look at the um the kobe city fire edition i mean the kobe city fire department that is <laughs> 
So here's the Kobe Municipal Fire Department. <laughs> well, there's actually two, the Chu Fire Department and the Kobe Municipal Fire Department located within the area around there. And then you got the Municipal huh, Aquatic Fire Department. Why did I just press maps? I wasn't even pressing maps, but just quickly to let you all <gasps> know. Woof. Oh, we're going to be taking a look at this in a moment. So yeah, three fire departments in the area of Kobe. And let's check out the fire department, the citizens of the fire department. You got the trucks. Super pumper complex. Wow. Their vehicle parkings, magnificent. And the upstanding peep employees of it. <laughs> and you're seeing the name, obviously. And with all this, we're taking we're looking at the pieces of in collaboration with the Kobe City Fire Department in Japan. And this is the one right here that you're looking at right there. Hmm. Let's take a little bit upper. Huh. Uh huh. That's what it looks like, folks. And that's what it is. Mm hmm. So, yeah, this is how it is. And uh, let's not get confused with that. This is what we're looking at. They have a red edition of the Range Man, basic square. This is where the location is in Japan, the Kobe City Fire Department. And these are their trucks, their vehicles. Oh, look at this particular one. Uh, it's I can't even read that right. If it's stopped, if it's like done downloading, then I can tell what it is. But it is the Kobe and Sentani. Uh, fire part of the sent the sendai the sendai city fire department bureau the sendai city fire bureau that is of course fire departments so yeah in collaborations with their fire department trucks and vehicles and So, yep, this is what you're looking at, all right? There's emergency service vehicles from their fire trucks. Wow. They're, it's amazing. Astounding. Don't you all think? So, yeah, y'all, this is what they do in risking lives, or risking their lives every day for the city of Kobe. So with all this out of the way, folks, let's take a look at the G-Shock watch that is going to be in collaboration with Kobe Rescue, or the Kobe City Fire Department, that is, in collaboration. So with all this out of the way, let's take a look at it. Like, right now, let's take a look at it. All right, with all that info, let's get to the watch. Now, where is it? Now, where did I put it? Oh, it's right here. This is what the box looks like. Kobe City Fire Bureau. Their logos. GWB 5600FB hmm. Fire Bureau 4JR. And this is module 3461. Casio. Good box. Amazing, amazing presentation. And the logo, very, very silver esque texture feel. Or just the silver. So let's get to the unboxing. Ooh, I gotta be extremely carefully to open these badasses. Okay. 
There's the manual, which I won't be opening because I, I could just look at it online. This is a good manual that they do. Very magnificent. So the module number is 3459 and 3461. Obviously it's 3461, but there are two two watches. I mean, there are, des there are the same model, but with two different module numbers. But again, this is the Japanese version. This is what we're going to be looking at, folks. So we got the design of the box. And look at this. Wow. Rescue. G-Shock. Rescue. G-Shock. Hmm. Kobe City Fire Bureau. Wow. This is awesome. Pause that, folks. Pause of that. Okay. Let's get to it. Amazing. Oh, my unique. Uh huh. Another watch. on the outside yellow on the inside very cool Kobe City logo got the Kobe City logo on it that's the logo what it's capable of See the buckle, Casio Japan on the buckle. Nice texture feel of the band. Mm -hmm. Module 3461, nice back. Bluetooth capability, multiband six, titanium. Titanium case pack, says made in China, but it's still, they're getting their parts on there like you already know. And of course, you got the six Rio towers, which is multi band six. Bluetooth capability. Mm -hmm. Look at that, folks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kobe City Fire Bureau. tracks mm -hmm. Bluetooth like you already know Ooh, gotta be careful with this damn thing huh okay nice feel let's take a look at the uh, the modes your TC you got your alarms one two three four snooze and signal back to your alarms Stopwatch, my favorite, the countdown timer, and you're back to your war time. Let me see if I can do a test screen at least. Do I do push all four buttons? Mm -hmm. you, pe you press all th only these two and these, all three buttons, and you have a test screen, which is very cool. Awesome. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you the light on this watch. Mm -hmm. Light, four seconds. Okay. It is light there. There we go. At the end of this video, when the room is dark, then you can see it. So yeah. Wow.
amazing piece so far. Digging it. I know I have. Protection. Look at that Bluetooth. Magnificent. All right. So let's see what the size on this beauty is. Approximately 43.6 on the diameter. Let's see here. Lug tip to lug tip. Okay, lug tip to lug tip is about 47.4 millimeters. Mm, the case size. Okay, the case is size, the case size is 48.3 millimeters thickness wise. Fourteen point one millimeters thickness. So yeah, folks. So yeah. <clears throat> so now you know the sizes. And so you got enough size, but if you buy yourself another copy of this watch, you can wear. The, you can keep the other one. Just make sure it gets some lighting it deserves including sunlight it depends if the weathering is not that bad out here just make sure you get yourself an led set to make sure you get your watch juiced these little juice light juice <laughs> uh, your little shout out to reason the weasel Polly shore ladies and gentlemen for that line Who's in the mountains? Bigger, squeeze a little jit is. <laughs> Shouts to Polly Shores, germs. <laughs> Ladies and germs of the world. Oh, God. So with all that out of the way, let's play the music. Well, let's play the song Foreign Truck by Kid Exquisite.
Well, folks, do you like this watch? What do you think of it? Even the history about the about about Kobe City. Now, it's, I already said this right now, as of already in the video. Um, I haven't visited Japan, but I've seen documentaries over the years. I want to visit there. I want to go there. Have a little fun here and there. That sort of thing. And amazing place for G-Shock. Give a shout to the father of G-Shock, Kiyoko Ibe. So yeah, well, among other things, dudes and dudettes, um, uh, you could still buy, get your purchase for every, any other items, and also there have been updates on YouTube. I mean, did I say that? No. Updates on CSR Collectibles, they increased the date, the deadline for the Brad Harton autograph, which is, of course, for the for the pre-order for Brad Harton. It was supposed to be done around June 14th. But, unfort but due to higher demands as well, they, they increased it to Ju July 20th. So yeah, link is in the description box down below. And also, uh, pick whatever you like. And uh, what else? Um, still more signings coming up, but uh, no much updates pretty soon. That's all we got for now. It's going to be one wicked summer, y'all. As well as to uh, hang with family or friends, in case no other plans has come up. But among all the things, y'all, it is amazing, really. And including Top Gun Maverick, big hit, big hit at the time. I mean, right now, it's becoming a huge hit. And what else? Jurassic Park Dominion, I like it. I wish they could have left the scenes that made sense. Because I got a feeling that there's an extended version out there. Hmm, maybe when it comes out on physical media, they will release the extended version. So pray that it's true. So anything else, y'all? Oh yeah, you got less than 10, you got like about 10 or less than 10 days until the um, funding for Never Hike in the Snow ends. So yeah, you better get that like now, y'all. Like, now. Out. N O W support them. Alright. So link is in the description box down below. Anything else more? Hmm. Subscribe to my channel to be notified of all new uploads and be notified of pre-order updates, new reviews, out and about bids with some fellow homies of mine who are YouTubers in some way and other things to come including toys whatever there is on this channel also like the vids and share the vids and if you have any opinions comment down below comment down below so anyways y'all this is sparky marky mark signing off y'all take care god bless you i'll see you and hear you soon enjoy the weekend